And finally, new rule, the tycoons of social media have to stop pretending that they're friendly nerd gods building a better world and admit they're just tobacco farmers in t-shirts selling an addictive product to children. Because let's face it, checking your likes is the new smoking. A recent 60 Minutes segment exposed what's called brain hacking, how everything Silicon Valley develops is purposely designed to make us feel compelled to check in constantly. They want you to use it in particular ways and for long periods of time because that's how they make their money. Every time I check my phone, I'm playing the slot machine to see what did I get. This is one way to um, hijack people's minds and create a habit, to form a habit. That's right. Apple, Google, Facebook, they are essentially drug dealers. <laughs> and I thought, where have I heard that before? Oh yeah, on 60 Minutes. You know, we're in a nicotine delivery business. And that's what cigarettes are for, most certainly. It's a delivery device for nicotine. Yep. It was never about smooth tobacco flavor. It was about the nicotine and the other drugs that cigarette makers deliberately put in to make it addictive. The moral rot in this country began when corporate America decided it wasn't enough to just successfully sell your product. People needed to be addicted to it. Keebler's cookies are not really made by elves and trees. <laughs> They're engineered in labs, like all processed food, with precise combinations of salt, sugar, and fat that are specifically designed to not satisfy. The reason you can't eat just one pretzel is the salt is like the nicotine in the cigarette. It's the drug, and the pretzel is the delivery system. That's how twisted pretzels are. <laughs> Food companies are not in the satisfying hunger business. They're in the finish the whole bag business. They're in the we own you business. You are our junkie slave. You can't resist this shit. Just put it in the cart and shut up before we make you suck your dick for it. <laughs> suck our dick for it. What am I saying? Here we go. <laughs> you heard the guy in the 60 Minutes piece. Every time you check your phone, you are pulling that slot machine handle because you might get a reward, a text, a like, a dick pic from Anthony Weiner. <laughs> we all know the feeling. You post a picture on social media and when the likes pop up, it floods your brain with gratifying dopamine. Facebook purposely holds back the likes sometimes so you will keep checking. How come my friends didn't love that picture of my soup? What's wrong with me? Oh, wait, wait, wait until they see this picture of my water bottle. <laughs> it's come to this, you don't exist until you get a smiley face. And then that's not enough. You need a thumbs up, or better, a giant thumbs up. A giant black thumbs up. <laughs> This is why the average person interacts with their phone over 2,600 times a day. It wants all your attention, all the time. It's not a service, it's Glenn Close in Fatal Attraction. <laughs> I'm not gonna be ignored, Dad. <laughs> A third of Americans check the phone during meals. 19% have checked it in church, mostly grinder. <laughs> Pedestrian deaths are way up because people in the crosswalk looking down are getting run over by drivers looking down. The whole damn country is constantly looking down. There is something being crushed out there, but it ain't candy. Philip Morris just wanted your lungs. The App Store wants your soul.